Hello and welcome to another Somerset Area Ale Review. Um, today's beer is uh, from the Bobworth Brewery. It's their St George and the Dragon. Um, now I did buy this beer at the brewery and they did tell me um, that when I bought it, I bought it about a fortnight ago, um, that it was coming to the end of its life. 31st of March 2012. It's now the 1st of April so it's a day out of date. Um, I don't think it's bottle condition. Apparently they said it's they've had the beer tested and it, it's it's uh, there's nothing wrong with it. So um, hopefully it should be okay. It was cheap by the way as well, so that's why I was inclined to buy it. Um, brand 500 ml bottle, plain gold crown. Um, yeah, nice nice label on it. 4.5 percent EBV. Let's crack it open. A little bit of smoke on the opening. I've got their uh, Henry's IPA glass as well. Welcome to Wobbleshire, or taste Wob the taste of Wobbleshire. Lovely glass that. I do like the Wobbleshire Brewery. I've had a few of their beers, especially their uh, beer kitchen IPA, which was outstanding. Let's see what this is like. Uh, coppery in colour. Sort of tan coloured, just over a finger head. Nice creamy consistency. Decent bit of conditioning there from the lacing. Um, absolutely no carbonation in there, totally flat. Sort of a haze to the beer, it's a little bit clearer than you can see on camera there. Let's get the nose in. Yeah, that smells fine. It's not, it doesn't smell off whatsoever. You're getting a sort of almost spicy, rich, malty quality to that. Slight bit of citrus in there. Very slight bit of citrus. But that smells very appealing. I think it's, it smells like it could, it could do with being a bit cooler. I've got this at about 12 degrees and I think it could be doing with about being about 8, but... Sort of, almost a nutty, nutty flavour to that as well. But that does actually smell very nice, very nice. Um, I think I'm just going to dig into that. Cheers. Oh, whoa! Quite carbonated on the mouth, mouth, mouth feel. Very creamy mouth feel on this beer. I'm not sure what that flavour is. Very sweet, not licorice -y, but it kind of tastes like, um, I don't know whether you, it depends on how old you were, how old you are, sorry. When I was a kid there was these little sweets called Frutellas, um, or maybe they were Chewits. I can't remember which was older. I don't eat sweets anymore because I can't stand them, but my little one eats them and uh, I think it's I think they're Frutella now and I think they used to be Chewits. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it tastes like a sort of raspberry chewit. If you never had one before you won't know what I'm talking about, but that is what that tastes like. Um Terry Kay from Beer Goggles Reviews had this beer and said it was awful. Um, I'm going to have to disagree with him. I actually quite like it. I actually quite like that beer. Let's whack the rest in there. 
No, it's not bottle conditioned. There's nothing in the bottle now. It's a nice creamy sort of, yeah, I, I quite like that beer. And, and well done to the brewery, that was right. You were, they, they, they have tested it and there is nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, oh me. Um, a beer full of body and robust bitterness with a fiery amber hue. Just the stuff for dragon slaying. The palate is crisp and tangy, leading to a long, dry, digestive biscuit finish with hints of orange and black currant. Digestive biscuit. I can't get that. I'm just getting that raspberry, raspberry chew it flavour. Uh, 4.5% ABV, 500 ml. Enjoy in moderation. Brewed by Wadworth & Co Limited, Northgate Brewery, Devizes, Wiltshire www.wildworth.co.uk um, Yeah, that's a lot you get on there. Founded in 1875, Devizes Wiltshire. I actually quite like that. I wasn't expecting good things because I spoke to Terry not long ago and he said it was awful and I'd already bought it and I thought, oh great. But <laughs> I actually really like that. I don't know whether it be out of duff, duff bottle or what, but um, that's a good sessionable ale. I think I could, I could session that. It's not the best beer I've ever had before, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think I'm going to give that. That's going to get a 6 out of 10 from me. Um, yeah, good little beer. Um, thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box, or even better still, um, subscribe. Um, if you want to see my Facebook uh, pages wise, uh, Somerset Real Ale Reviews, search for that on Facebook, or I'm on Twitter as well, um, at, Real Ale, uh, at Somerset Real Ale on Twitter. Um, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon in another review. Cheers.